I think I think you're supposed to start chasing them now. Ow! Okay, no, no, better run. Okay, run. Actually, no, I won't. I'll just stay in front of the camera. I've come back to life again. Okay, okay. Am I still in shot? Get me in. <laughs> um, sorry, what's the point of this? <laughs> no idea. Would you rather I was in it? <laughs> not really, no. Oh, they're, oh, they're not going to fight again. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I won't. I'll just stay in front of the camera. I've come back to life again! Okay, okay. Am I still in shock? Get me in You've been filming all this, have you? Yeah. God. <laughs> Not very well. Yeah, that's the car park chase, is it? Gotta go down with <laughs> it. Fuck, I know everyone's keeping up with it. Let's go to the wrong ramps. Get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. of the two schools. Frank at the time of fondling his girlfriend. <laughs> Dawn was upset because she was a bit. <laughs> Can't think of what I'm looking for. <laughs> do, you feel, do you feel like it's Evan? <laughs> An impression of someone. And Stupid. here's Dawn. Here's things Dawn things and like why not? And very nice.
with a Tudor cottage and the assembly hall behind us, which is a barn. It's just so fantastically unique in the whole of Hertfordshire in the southeast that really you've just got to fight for something like this. It's a fantastic educational opportunity. The parents say the Margaret Dane site would be both easier to dispose of and a better commercial proposition. Estimates put its value at £10 million, compared to Haddam Hall's one and a half millions. The county say commercial factors are not... This is Rodney and Claire afterwards. Close up here. <laughs> Close up with the vital area. Are you going to fall out? Going. <laughs> What's this? Town Centre? It's 1642 and the first battle of Haddam Hall. Cromwell's roundheads have made a surprise attack on the home of arch-royalist Arthur Capel. The good lord himself is away fighting for king and country. His servants have little defence against the advancing parliamentarians. 300 years and the restoration of the monarchy should have been enough to secure a lasting peace. But in the past six months, another battle royal has raged. 